Going down the downtune rabbit hole, I ended up in drop A with my baritone converted strat, thinking, okay, bass is an octave down at A0, same lowest note as on a piano. Shouldn't go lower than that, right? Right? Well, why not? Instead of playing in unison with the extra low eight and nine string guitars, why not have the bass go into contrabass territory? If the lowest frequency we can hear is 20 hertz, we should at least be able to go all the way down to E0, right? And what about even lower? This is Kevin from Said Too Much. Of course, there are instruments that go lower than A0, even pianos. A Bosendorfer Imperial piano goes an extra seven steps lower to C0. That's less than 17 hertz, with the extra keys painted black on top. Huge organs with 32, 64, or 128 foot pipes can go well below 20 hertz. And there's even some experimental upright basses built around the 1850s called the octabase that can join them down there as well. These basses are so big, you play them with a stool and levers to fret the strings. Although the fundamental frequencies of some of these notes is perceived as a flickering, we can still hear the rich overtones modulated by said fundamental, resulting in a kind of gurgling sound. I got this Ibanez SR305 on eBay and decided to add two more strings going down in fourths, shifting everything over. So from lowest string to highest string, we have C sharp zero, F sharp zero, B zero, E1, and A1. First thing to note is how much I had to file the nut on this thing. I felt pretty bad having to mod this bass so extreme, and on top of that, I had to drill out the tuner that fits the C sharp string. Funny story, I thought I could just unwind the string a little bit and fit the core in, as long as I soldered the winding just under where I would start to unwind it. I've done this before to fit strings into the fluid rows on my 8 string guitar, but for the contrabass, I ended up with this sound. So some drilling, and 30 bucks later, I got better results. And yeah, I did just say these strings are around 30 bucks each. That's a lot of metal and winding, man. What did you expect? The strings come from a company called Calium, and they're actually a great company. All about experimental tuning, scale lengths, and instruments. All right, now let's talk about intonating this thing. I had to take the saddles pretty far back on the low strings to get every fret in tune. And something to note, there's no way I could get these strings thicker than the ball end itself and any other bridge but this cutout top loader. So again, here's what we have along with the gauge. Everything else in the bass is stock. Active pickups, three bandy cue, and so on. One last note, these strings are really hard to tune. Again, probably my fault. Nothing shows up on my tuner below B flat zero. So I had to guess on the F sharp and C sharp strings using higher notes up the fretboard and double check with pitch correction software. This is probably a dumb problem, but if anyone knows something I don't, please tell me. All right, now on to the test. Full disclosure, I'm not the best bass player and I try to get as good as a tone as I can for now, but here's an F sharp major scale followed by a C sharp major scale. And I'm gonna be using a pick to give it more brightness because with strings these low, of course you would need brightness. So what do you guys think? Is it too much? Could you hear it? What should I try for improvements? Let me know in the comments. I'll be releasing a full song utilizing this instrument soon. And stay tuned, because we'll be going to the next extreme in string gauge. But for now, enough said. <laughs>